Differentiation is the process in which a stem cell becomes more specialised in function. For example, mesenchymal stem cells differentiate into white and brown adipocytes in response to a variety of factors. Transdifferentiation is a way in which a fully differentiated cell can become another fully differentiated cell of another type. This generally includes the switching on of genes that are specific for the new cell type and the switching off of genes that were unique to the old. This has been shown to occur in adipocytes, aka fat cells, as they swap from white to brown. Adipocytes are not just the cells that everyone goes on these crazy diets to get rid of. They actually have really important functions in maintaining homeostasis, such as energy storage, immunoregulation, lactation, and thermoregulation. There are three main types of adipose tissue found in mammals, including white, brown, and pink. Pink adipocytes are found in the mammary gland during pregnancy and lactation. This type will not be discussed further in this video. White adipocytes are responsible for that extra padding that's protecting that six pack. It is responsible for lipid storage, ensuring there is enough energy to supply metabolic demand. The brown adipocytes do the hard work. These cells contain a large amount of mitochondria, which are responsible for using lipids for thermogenesis. This means that they generate energy in the form of heat, causing these cells to be important in thermoregulation. So important in fact that exposure to cold can actually induce the transdifferentiation of white adipocytes to brown adipocytes. It was shown that when exposed to cold over a long period of time, there was an increase in the number of brown adipocytes and an equal reduction in white adipocytes and no change in the overall adipocyte number. So what happened? Cold stimulated the transdifferentiation signaling pathways involving UCP1, microRNAs and adrenergic receptors to swap out the white adipocytes for brown adipocytes to allow for thermoregulation. The inactivation of retinoblastoma proteins have also been shown to cause adipocyte transdifferentiation in response to cold and adrenergic stimulation, and also the inhibition of TGF beta slash SMAD3 signaling pathway. Despite this, there is no one definitive molecular switch that causes a conversion. However, the upregulation of UCP1 seems to have a primary role in the transdifferentiation process as it is expressed in mitochondria, which are more prevalent in brown adipocytes, as these are the cells responsible for energy production. Although the exact mechanism isn't yet concluded, the idea of adipocyte transdifferentiation opens up the opportunity for it to be used clinically in the treatment of obesity and the resulting metabolic conditions, such as type 2 diabetes. Targeting factors to manipulate the conversion of white adipocytes into brown adipocytes can dramatically increase lipid utilisation and energy production, which is an intriguing treatment option. However, more research is required to actually make this happen. All of this was investigated by an array of different experimental techniques, including immunohistochemistry, polymerase chain reaction, otherwise known as PCR, blotting techniques, and different assays. Most commonly, researchers use mice, or to be fancy, muse musculus. As mammals, they contain similar tissues and organs to humans and have a very similar genome that enables them to study the signaling mechanism responsible for the phenomena and physiology, such as adipocyte transdifferentiation. In conclusion, adipocyte transdifferentiation is an exciting area of research that could provide a treatment options for a variety of diseases.